Hi, welcome to Let's Stay Active. These are short tutorial videos of brain body boggling things that you can try at home to help keep your brain engaged, keep your body active and basically ease the pressure a little bit during our isolation situation. So the activity we're going to be working on today is actually really hard. So after taking some advice from our fantastic Sophie, we've decided to break it into two. So this is part one. As you can see, I'm sitting here in my van today. This is the Sweet Circus van. This is what takes us usually to all the festivals and events throughout the summer. Don't worry, we haven't gone anywhere. I'm just in here uh, on my driveway because um, in my living room uh, is my husband's office because obviously he's working from home. Uh, in my dining room is now a hula hoop factory uh, where my son makes rainbow hoops. And uh, in my bedroom, it's too noisy because my son is next door uh, doing a course on board game design. So I thought, why not? Let's come out into the Sweet Circus van and do some Sweet Circus mischief. Okay, so knots and crosses then. We're going to start pretty easy. With your hands, you're going to draw, or with a finger, I suppose, you're going to draw circles in the air. Both going in the same direction. Now, those of you who know me will know that I don't know my left and right at the best of times, let alone when I'm trying to do something so that people can mirror me. So I put right and left on my hands. Obviously, what I actually did was put right on left hand and put left on right hand so that I could tell you which hand you need to move. Anyway, let's draw those circles. So drawing nice circles in the air in front of your face. Okay, so now with your right hand, you are going to try and reverse the direction of the circle while your left hand keeps going the same way. So let's try it, there we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I hope you're joining in and not just watching me. The whole point is that we're all trying to do these things together. Okay, so now, your left hand needs to change direction so that it's then going in the same direction as your right hand. Do you know, I don't even know if I've just done that right or not. And this is the easy bit. Okay, now we're gonna go back in the other direction. So this time, your left hand needs to change direction first. There we go. And now your right hand's gonna try and change direction so that it's going in the same direction as your left hand. How was that? Should we give that a little shake? My arms ache actually. That's because I haven't been up in the air for so long, I guess. Okay, so that was noughts. Now we're gonna try crosses. So we're just gonna draw a cross in the air with both hands at the same time. Okay, so your right hand is gonna to have to change direction so that it's going in the opposite direction to your left hand. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I did it, did you? Don't worry if you didn't, just stop. And then join back in again. Okay, so now it's your left hand has got to change direction to be going in the same direction as the right hand. Oh, this is hurting my brain before I even try and do it. I don't think that worked very well, did it? I am going in the same, in the right direction though. I have to watch it back and see. I bet you all did a lot better than me. Okay, so this time, my left hand is gonna change direction first. Seems I find that first change easier than the second one. I don't know why. So now my crosses are going in opposite directions. And now, your right hand has to change direction to be going in the same direction ah, as your right hand. I think that one was more successful. Good, Ooh, shake it out. So we've got noughts and we've got crosses. 
Now we're going to try and do the same thing with our feet. So when it comes to the feet, I think this is a bit more tricky. So I'm doing my circles. I'm sorry if it's a little bit wobbly, but I'm holding the camera now to get an angle where you can see my feet. Do you like my odd socks? Those of you who know me will know it's very rare that I have matching socks on. All right, let's see if we can change that right foot to go in the opposite direction. Okay, that seemed to work. These are great socks actually. They're by a company called Oddballs and they donate a certain amount of their profits to research in prostate cancer. Prostate, not prostate. Okay, so now I need to change my left foot to go in the same direction. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, now this time it's the left foot that's going to change direction first. So that it's going in the opposite direction. And then my right foot is going to try and join in. Yay! Oh, <laughs> wiggly left foot there. Awesome. Okay. Just going to let them have a little rest for a second. Crack a few toes and ankles if needs be. So now we're on to crosses. Uh, with feet, this is really hard. Don't worry if it goes wrong, just stop and try again. So we're going to do crosses with our toes. I don't think my crosses are that convincing actually. How about you? Okay. Oop. So first of all, I'm going to attempt to change my right foot so that it does Whoa. opposite direction. Well, I don't know what that wobble was that I just did there, but it did seem to work eventually. These coordination exercises take a lot of practice and I'll be honest, I haven't really been practicing these as you can probably tell. Okay, so now my left foot needs to change so that it's going, oh, do you know what? I think it was my right foot that took over then. Still, they are both going in the same direction. Right, come on left foot, you've got to change again. There we go. Now they're going in opposite directions and it's back down to the right foot to change. There we go. Oh, my legs ache now. So there you go. That's the first part of noughts and crosses for you to practice at home. You're gonna practice your noughts and changing directions and your crosses and changing directions and also trying to get your feet to behave. <laughs> My feet are quite naughty it seems. Practice those at home over the next week and then if you check in again next Wednesday we'll be doing an add-on to that which is a bit of a mind blower for me. So um, Fingers crossed, I will make myself practice between now and then and I'll be able to give you a better demonstration. Now, if you've enjoyed playing along with us at home, make sure you subscribe to the channel because that means that you'll be part of our little stay active community. Um, if you hit the bell, it means that you'll get uh, notifications when new stuff comes out. We are a community interest company and basically we've lost all of our work because as I said, we're normally out at festivals and things. So if you feel like donating, please do. There's a link in the description that means you can just go straight to our website and make a donation. But more important than that, please do just stay active. These are challenging times, aren't they? And it's really important that we keep ourselves happier and healthier. See you next week, guys. Bye.